Listen to how quiet this is. <laughs> that's not... Yeah, that's weird. We're driving a car that doesn't have an exhaust. exhaust <laughs> JD, listen, this thing is just whisper quiet. And you know one thing? There's no exhaust pipe, so there's no smelly fumes. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tim Pomeroy. And I'm Jadeen Hudson, and welcome to NRMA's Driver's Seat. Today, we have a really special edition of Driver's Seat, as we are one of the select few who are getting behind the wheel of Australia's first mass production electric car. See, look at that. That's actually got good acceleration right. for a yeah. car of this size. The big difference here with the IMEV is that there's three driving modes. I'm going to select D, which for normal driving is what most people would use. We've already reached 60 k's an hour and it's going back into eco charge mode. It's real easy to drive. Who's going to buy this car? People will want to buy this because of the technology mm. and the fact that it is a completely electric vehicle. And you actually get a flat floor, that's not yeah. bad. There's actually heaps of room in here. There's loads of headroom. Moving into the boot, look, there's a reasonable amount of space. There is your electric motor. What exactly is under the bonnet? Let's put it up in the air and see what's underneath. Yep. So we're not allowed to actually take the cover off on the top, so we've decided to come, come in underneath. underneath. And here it is. That's the electric motor. Here's the battery pack. So Tim, most people think that an electric motor's got no power. How much does this actually have? It's actually got as much power as, say, a one litre petrol equivalent. Wow. Most small cars are front wheel drive but you can see the drive shafts here coming out of the reduction gear. So this is a real drive then? Just feels like a normal car. This is really exciting as the Mitsubishi IMEF doesn't officially go on sale for perhaps a year or two. So how does it work? Well it's pretty simple. Battery pack with some cabling, an electric motor, the 47 kilowatt electric motor with a reduction gear, drive shafts, up to the rear wheels. The IMEF can travel 160 kilometres on one charge and then you recharge it like you would any other electrical appliance. Plug it into a power point. So that's a 15 amp power point? This takes about seven hours. Most people's daily commute is 40 kilometres, so you only need to charge it every three days. Pick up your power cord, make sure it clicks in and you check that the little red power cord is lit up to make sure you're charging. Mitsubishi says that once electric cars become more common, we won't be buying a car on its traditional size, but on its range. So Tim, despite all the hype surrounding electric vehicles, the concept of an electric car is not actually new. The technology's been around for a while, and really it's not rocket science. Electric vehicles first came into existence in the 19th century, so why are we only getting them now? Now we have the benefit of modern technology. These electric motors are more durable, more compact, and have more torque than the older style alternating current electric motor. And I guess battery technology has also come a long way. 20 years ago, a battery would have weighed half the car. Now it's only 20%. But just because the IMEF is electric, don't think that it's slow. It's actually quite perky and it has a top speed of 130 kilometers an hour. You know, Jodine and I have just been busy talking about the concept of this car. But with three up, I've got to say, it really surprises and the way it goes. It's really zippy. Don't you think, Jay? Yeah, I was actually really surprised. I actually quite like it. Yeah. It's got plenty of power. It's got more yeah. power than your average small car. Yeah. 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 Hey. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I think it's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd like more information, head to www.mynrma.com.au forward slash motoring.